Yeah, he hit it thick, but at, that allows him to go on the other side of the four. Maybe a kick now, shot here. Just going to sh say, kick shot. You mean you can make the four ball? You know, I mean key shot. Oh, key shot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, I mean, why kick at this? Yeah, a little bit lucky to get on the four to the corner and really look at the layout as well. If he can get nice from the five to the six, the eight is gonna help him get back down for the nine. He's gonna play into the long reel and back out, low left. Maybe a little bit more angle on this six ball. Might be difficult to hold. Of course, could float it in and take more cut on the seven. But I'm sure he's not gonna load the cue ball up with a lot of spin. And try to get straighter because you could miss the ball. Yeah, that was a good recovery actually on the six ball. He uses a lot of English, try to get close to the seven ball to make sure he makes it. Yeah, he needs one good shot on the seven ball. Took a little gamble. <laughs> yeah. But the Philippine players in general, they like to take these kind of calculated risks. It's not a gamble, it's it's a calculated risk. He knows that if he plays with a certain speed into the nine, he's most likely to still have the eight in front of the side. Yeah. So it looks like this set will still go to Carlo Briado. It was supposed to be this. in the previous game, but... Yeah. Yeah, so Carlo Piado now up 2-1 in sets, and I do think... Yeah, so Ping Chung is gonna take a little break, and I believe we're gonna take a small break as well. Both players leaving, so we'll be right back. Seems like Carlo Piado got that uh, locomotive working again, huh? So, welcome back everybody to the Predator and WPA World Ten Ball Championship. 
we are in the quarterfinal between Ping Chung Ko and Carlo Biado. Look at the statistics. Still an overall player performance if you look at the match for Ping Chung is 783 compared to Carlos 843. So that's a 60 point difference, quite a bit. Carlos break a little bit less than Ping Chung, but a lot more fouls. In total of four fouls for Ping Chung compared to Carlos Zero. So that's quite a difference. Yeah. I believe it also said six and five missed balls for both. So not the best of pool, but definitely an exciting match. Yeah, it's all going back and forth. If you look at this break, just this one really looked like he did barely, he barely put anything in it. Yeah. And I am quite sure that that cube was going to be buried behind the nine, two rails. Of course, was a nice opening shot for go to stick the cue ball yeah it's always good to leave the the object ball in the center of the table to make it the small small target but he hit it pretty good on the right side so well i also do like the speed how he's hit that kick knowing yeah. that there was like four or five balls down table where he could potentially well i'm going to use it again get lucky it's not lucky it's a calculated risk so it's not perfect you can play the one ball behind the five and look at this cue ball now this cue ball is a good one i don't think carlo can yeah he might be able to go two rails off the short rail short rail long rail yeah. but played a really good shot here yeah if you could brush the one going short long and brush the one that could be great but it's really tough because you can't reach it properly so we can't stroke it We almost brush it. Yeah, was actually, it was, re was really close to be a great attempt because if he had hit the one ball thin on that side, plenty of good things could have happened. Yeah. yeah just He's disgusted by it, and I completely understand. <laughs> yeah. that, was, that was so close. Is it going to be a, a comeback from Ping Chung in this set again? It's all about high and low energy. Should be okay. I guess the seven ball passes the ten, so everything is wide open here. As long as it gets to the six, it's perfect on the five, so should be out here. Nothing fancy.
that was really a great safety shot from Bing Chung there. Allows him to take the lead in the fourth set. Yeah, great safety. As long as you can keep your opponent kicking one, no, no, more than one, excuse me, like two rails, three rails, then you will always get some opportunities. If you leave one rail escapes, then especially on this level, you expect them to hit the ball and sometimes even rehook you. Yeah. Those lights are really amazing. The Predator Arena light. Also, the Predator yeah. Apex Lift tables are really great. Yeah, they have improved so much since they first came on the market. And now, I don't really believe many players have mentioned the tables at all. So, glad to hear all the equipment is doing what it should be doing. And yeah, I also, I'm a big fan of these lights as well. I, there was a period of time where I was making a lot of videos for social media and these lights, they make very good quality as well for your promotional videos or yeah, depending on what kind of videos you make. Yeah. So back to the match, I think he's got the safety between the Two and the eight, yes, he's got it full. Could kick one rail. Either side of the one, if he can get, get left or right on the one ball, yeah. does have a pretty good chance to get safe. That's tough because he's elevating and overhit it full in the face, which is not the best oh, way for to catching it that thick. For catching it so thick, I do believe he's a little bit fortunate not to leave something. This was maybe the only way you would not want to hit the one ball, but his speed was just enough not to leave something. Yeah. Can he press the one ball next to the 2-8 and the cue ball maybe in between the rail and the 5? Lock him up. Yeah, I think he'll do this. Yeah, this way you have two chances to lock your opponent up. Well, he was trying to get... Was he trying to get behind the six? I don't know exactly. Yeah. But as you said, he, he has two chances with the object ball and the cue ball to try to get the snooker there. Of course, he's going to let an easy kick. Carlo is going to try to kick and stick there. Yeah. Beautiful shot from Piado. Played with draw, maybe a hair of right. As long as you catch the ball thick, the cue ball stops right there. Nicely execution and could be a rack winner. There's a yeah. two rail kick, but you're going to kick the one ball in the open, kicking two rails. I think he's going to go one rail there. Wow. Oh, still what one rail. Wow. Yeah, what a good attempt that was. He almost made it like... Missed it by a hair. Didn't stiff it yeah. enough. But. Yeah, he was very close making it. Yeah. Just a little bit unfortunate maybe to catch the side pocket point. So there is a shot on the one for Carlo, but we did have a look and it looked pretty straight. 
I don't think he can get for the two ball in the top corner. Can he maybe get the two ball in the side still? Pretty straight, yeah. I think yeah, he was try to Go run ahead. through a little bit more to bank the two, maybe. But now he has to play safe, yeah. Yeah, definitely one Ping Chung is going to hit. Or at least you would favor him to go two rails in such a big ball. It's more yeah. going to depend on the speed if he can get maybe the three or the seven in between. That's he's caught the other yeah. side and he's got the cover. I do like the speed he's played it because he wanted to yeah. create at least distance. Did apologize there. Yeah. Because he didn't hit the right side, the side he wanted. I'm surprised Carlo is not jumping here. Well, probably felt the one railer was pretty high percentage, but he has left shot on the two. Still difficult. I don't think the four ball passes the six. And if it does, you still have to get something on the six ball off the five, maybe a carom, maybe a combo. Difficult to see. Yeah, not exactly sure. Can he play a 4-6 combination? Is he going to try and go the 4 into the rail and maybe skim off the 6 to m still make it? Or maybe he can play the 4 into the 5 and make the 6. And so the, the 4 ball would stay towards the pocket. I don't know if... He has to make a decision for sure. Yeah, I like that. That's the shot I meant, but he hit it too thick in the five. That was a yeah, good shot difficult. though. Yeah, it's just that I, would, I just really was not sure if it was there. And definitely a chance for Carlo to pick up the, sp the pieces. Especially after that carom he's played on this six ball. Nice controlled yeah. carom. Controlled the cue ball and the four. I'm not going to say that was a chance for Ping Chung to really take that steady lead in this fourth set. But... Of course, a chance is a chance, depending on how tough they are. I understand why he didn't get out, but the statistics are tough customers. Yeah, true. Perfect shape on the eight, so we'll level the score one each.
We're also wondering, is there any fatigue? Maybe getting a little bit tired. Still, if you look at the numbers in set four, Carlo underachieving if you compare to set four for Ping Chung. 867 against 700. And the runout win percentage is also higher for Ping Chung. Safety efficiency. I think the defense, everything around the defense is pretty steady for both players. Like they're not going to lose into this department. I think it's 50 50. But the offensive side has been tricky. And just because of those awkward shots, tough jumps, weird caroms. Oh, nice break. Oh, but look at the 10 ball. The 10 ball is going to be respotted and it's going to go towards the two. Can you believe? Look at the cue ball. Finally, he's hit it square in the face. Good pop, yeah. nice energy. And the second the two ball stopped, he said, Oh, come on. Does that 10 ball really have to come get back at the table? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it might still be on. It might still go, and that would be lucky. If I look the body language of Carlo, I don't think it goes, but... Oh, and I, I also think that Ping Chang is saying the second the referee stopped touching the 10, it, it moved out a bit. And of course, it's, this could be because of so many reasons. People play masses and jump shots, so you get little dips in the in the cloth, in the, in the table, so the 10 could potentially bow out left or right just a bit. Yeah. It should be frozen. I think the ref has told him, well, I've already redone it. It's enough now. Yeah, and it's not easy to do, especially on the, as you said, a cloth that has played for like maybe two weeks with the little dips in it. Yeah, it's not really frozen. But does it go? If, yeah, if it goes, it's a big thing. No, it doesn't. Yeah, so in the end, it didn't matter that much. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy, even though it was not exactly froze, that it didn't really change the outcome of this shot. Yeah. So what would you play here, Benjamin? Hmm. Yeah, he's going to thin the two ball into the nine and try to catch the, the line of the six, go up table. Yeah, just like that. Well, the only thing I was wondering is, I, th I was always going to play this cue ball behind the six, so a little bit more spin. He just chose to play the seven in between instead of yeah. the six ball. Yeah, that's, that's why I was wondering what, what kind of line we would be picking. Yeah, the, the good thing is using the seven ball allows him to play no English and so he could uh, he could hit the, the two ball as thin as he could. Using no English, it's easier. So that's smart. Oh, Ooh, wow. that was close. <laughs> yeah. That a was a bit great. of magic. Yeah. It was already quite the challenge not to foul on this two ball. Had to play the kick jump to make a legal hit on the two ball. Beautiful effort, but a chance for go. Yeah, a tough shot. I mean, whether he decide to play the two on the corner or try to play some kind of a combination to make try to make the three, the two ball is a tough shot. Yeah, yeah. I did like shooting the two ball to the corner, though. It just gives guaranteed shape. If you go play the yeah. combination, you get less shape. 
Still, he hit it so pure. go ahead. <laughs> he hit it so pure. I mean, the two ball was, it was a tough shot. It was off angle and he hit it really pure. Yeah, he does have a small angle on this three ball. I don't think he can hold the the cue ball to play the four on the other side. So that's why he still had to play a good shot from the three to the four. And he's got perfect. Look at his speed. Two rails yeah. out. Perfect angle on the four. His ball and hand shape he's got on this four ball. Yeah, that wasn't easy. And remember, we are in the quarterfinals of a world championship in the arena. It's never easy to play in those arenas. It's a different story than being doing the commentaries or being in the audience. And you think yeah, you know well, what, it, what it feels like I to was, be there. So. I was going to say this is so underestimated. You know, there's always crowds. There's always people rooting against you. You know, it's it's not always about the people that root for you. Sometimes you feel that there is an energy against you. And then, of course, there's a lot more impressions if you play in such an arena than if you play in a local pool room as well. So, you know, this, for example, the eight ball Carlo missed. There could be possible five reasons why he's missed that eight ball in the third set, I believe. Yeah. And in the pool room, there might be just one reason. So everything is a little bit more complicated. And most of the people, I mean, most of the people I meet, they're only used to the pool room style. So they cannot really imagine the pressure and the heat on these guys. Yeah. Even if they are professional and they, are, they have experienced, they are used to the conditions, but still... It's a lot of pressure to play in arenas. Came up a little bit straight on the nine, so he's going two rails forward for, I believe he was trying to get the 10 in the same corner as the nine ball, maybe a little yeah. bit soft, but he should be fine. So takes the lead once again in this fourth set. One of the co-brothers is trying to keep the family name high. Coping Yi lost in the last 16, I believe, to, I think it was Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. Yes, it is. 3-2. Three, Three sets yeah, so to two. Another close match, but... Um, wow, and he won the first two sets. He won the first two sets, and then Francisco won the last three. Yeah, so definitely has to keep the family name high here. Definitely and, and is still in the match. And in the other quarterfinals, Naoki Hoi is leading two sets to one to Badea Haladawi. One set all, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, Dennis Grave. And Fedor Bost is leading two sets to one against Albin Ocean. Let's see. I do believe he's made a ball on the break. Yeah, he's made a ball on the break. A lot of movement again. Four yeah. ball disappearing in the left. Just the eight bump in the one and the seven right in between. It's like it's like it's just not meant to have a couple breaker runs. They keep going back and forth, pushing, jumping safe. Things yeah. are really not going great, even though there's balls going on the break finally. Good cue balls. Yeah, sometimes Difficult. this game is like this. Difficult layout too. Now, there is, if he's pushing this, there is a carom 
into the 8-2 combination. Yeah. If he really wants to go aggressive, he could. Because I don't think there is much else with the cue ball being on the rail. Tough to play spin. If you hit the 8, yeah, he's looking at it. If you hit the 8, it's, it's a hanger. Yeah, the one ball is going is going to travel up table because you might have to play this hard. Oh, he just brushed the eight. He missed it actually. He almost missed it, and oh, he got a look good at deal. the luck he's got. Oh, look at the one ball traveling three times the short rail and ends right behind that three ball. might have a thin edge of this one to get the cue ball behind the 10 but of course would have loved to get a little bit more or even got the seven in between might be even better i don't don't think carlo can hit this no i don't think so Ma but could play a small not... message yeah also, the two is also locked. The layout is really tough. I mean, I don't think the five passes the six. So, even if no, yeah. an open shot on the one, it's going to be tough for Ping Chung to, to run out this rack. Yeah, for sure. If you just look at that two ball. Yeah, might be able to just make it and then how is he going to get on the three ball with the five ball being locked up so this is far from over this rack he might be playing a safety behind the eight no he's called it just sometimes it just feels so low percentage to start going at a layout like this because where, where do these guys like Get, get the idea of running out on this. It's so super difficult to get to the three ball. Oh, and that cue ball, is it going to get behind the seven? I think it did. Yes, it did. Yeah, that's tough. If you look at the percentage, the chances to get behind the seven from there <laughs> is really low. I mean... Yeah, especially if you look at the the line the cue ball runs. If you yeah. go two rails, everything before the seven ball would be fine. Yeah. Oh, he he's missed the three and he's opened up. Well, he was trying to catch the left side of the three ball, which I liked. Yeah. I did like the speed. He just missed it by quite a bit. And he's opened up the five. That's a pretty big mistake. If he can make the three ball to the side and go forward or to the corner, either way. I, I do like the corner better. But as long as he gets straight on the five ball, it's wide open. Ko has really opened up the rack for Carlo. He called his extension to make sure he has the time to think about it, whether he's going to play in the side or in the corner. It's just interesting because he did play a little flick of the five. Could have positioned maybe a hair to the other side and not do that. Like I'm wondering why, but in the end, he's got he's still got decent on the two, on the five ball. He can go into the rail, come back out six in the side. This most of it is routine. Of course, it after what is it two hours of play? Yeah. Things get tougher and tougher. It's all about stamina. Then, when you finally feel you're closer to the finish line, the nerves are getting there too. So you get lower in energy, but the nerves will get more. So this is a interesting dynamic which we might still see, depending on yeah, how fit Carlo is feeling, of course. Yeah, that's absolutely right. 
and it's all about manage managing your energy throughout the match well what could have been 3-1 ping chung is now two each of course it was a difficult chance yeah. for the co-brother but Still, a chance is a chance, and Carlo loved the opportunity he got with ball in hand. He is only two games away from a semi-final in this WPA Predator World Championships. Yeah, now look at the numbers. 48% run out percentage against 33. 862 against the 750. So Carlo really grinding this set to still be two each with 750 performance. makes ball on the break and he either has the one ball or has a pretty decent jump just a shape on the two ball yeah he has a jump but he has to take risk here gamble a little bit try to to get a piece of the two after the jump. Could run into the seven. No, he actually controlled the cue ball pretty well. Just wondering, does that two ball go in between the three and the seven? Yeah, Look at this. I was just gonna mention, not so much air. He really felt the minimum amount of angle into the jump. Yeah, he does get a chance here to get on the hill first. Of course, the, the five, five ball is still tied. Yeah. Really locked by the six. He really has to yeah, create an angle on the four to try to go into those two balls, which is possible. So he has it, but... Yeah, play more stun, not so much right spin, because the right will work its way also on the second rail. He's got perfect on this four ball, Ben. Yeah. See where he decides to go. If he decides to go in between the rail and the six, or try to go full in the face of the six to try to put the five out and play it in the top left corner see what he decides if he goes to the rail first then he might not get a shot on the two because of the, the cue ball will roll a little bit and might have a cut on the, on the five i guess well he might play a lot of draw and draw into the rail and run right through them more yeah. risk yeah just yeah, like that. beautiful perfect yeah. the speed Absolutely was clean. perfect yeah Yeah, that draw really crawled the cue ball right in between that rail and the six. Yeah. And what a chance he has now to get on the hill first, Carlo Biado. Oops. Oh. Does he still get on that six ball? He's not yeah, looking too happy. If we, if we can see this five again on the replay, we would see that he jumped up and he didn't got deep into the cue ball to draw back. Oh, he just got the six. Little tougher yeah. shot, though. Yeah, perfect Rich. recovery. Yeah.
So seven and eight in the same corner. Nice angle again on the eight going to the nine. Yeah, definitely that mistake that Ping Chung made last rack, trying to run while the position of the balls were so tough, that might really cost him the set and the match. Of course, Carlo still needs two more balls and another good break, but... Ping Chong is definitely not going to like his odds from here. He's only one game away of the semis. lot is going to depend on this coming break. We all know, of course, that if Carlo doesn't make a ball in the break and leave shape, that Ping Chong could do the same thing. He could run out and break a run for the set as well. So it's really, it's really tight from here. Of course, the winner of this doubles up in the money as well. The loser goes home with $11,000. The winner is guaranteed $22,000. We almost lost the cue ball there. Does he Believe still me. have something? I was thinking maybe the two off the nine and go with inside two rails for the three ball, but it's super tough and really a high risk. If you look at the score, this might not be the moment to be so aggressive. Can he play the two ball towards the six and the cue ball behind the eight maybe or double bank the eight uh double bank the two and get the cue ball behind the eight excuse me yeah maybe he could go for the bank the cross the cross side bank to try to to get shape on the three or so yeah he played it conservative but i tell you what i think he didn't got it yeah, I don't think he's got it. That was dangerous because even if he got the snooker, the two ball is really close to the pocket. Let's yeah, see if he it. elevates the cue. If he elevates yeah. the cue, then the whole shot gets more difficult. Yeah, now, for the I people at home... Yeah. They might think, why is he not jumping? Because he's such a good jumper. But then the cue ball gets more stun. And the position on the three ball was not so high percentage anymore. He's played beautiful cue ball off that opening yeah. shot. And what? We could be going hill hill in this fourth set. And what I didn't like about Carlo's choice on the safety is that it didn't protect the two ball. He played all in on the on the cue ball and leave the two ball in an area where it was really risky. He could have played any containing to to try to to gain time. It's easier said than done, of course. Yeah, under the shot clock, under the pressure, everybody makes health mistakes at times.
Perfect on the seven, small angle, can go off the rail for the eight, bottom left. This is, most of this is routine. For these players, of course. So, could go off the rail, could also play a little draw. Either way was going to be fine as long as he had the angle going down table. So we will have our first hill hill set for this match. Carlo only needing one rack. Now also Ping Chung needing just one more rack. It's either a shootout or Carlo getting to the semifinals. The easy way. Because if they go to a shootout, we might be in for a long shootout. A lot at stake on this break. What can this young man do? Former world tempo champion 2019. Can he get this match to a shootout? Good square hit on the one. Ooh, the four ball goes, yeah. Yeah, it does have a chance. Okay, so did he not like cutting this one ball to the side pocket? I thought he did have a chance at it. Quite surprised. Yeah. Could have been maybe also a little bit better with the cue ball. I do think Carlo does have a one real kick. And if he catches the one, I believe, 70 to 100% thick, the cue ball will stay behind the 2, 5, 7. Could make the one in the side. Good things can happen here for Carlo. Does the one ball get to the safety zone? He might have left it. Yeah, it's tough to say from here, but he has might have something, yeah. Yeah, great shot on the one. Does have a chance to at least level the score. I was just checking the results. A little bit different on two different matches. I thought Skyler and Oi did go to a shootout when it went two each. We might still have another deciding set after this one, so... 
My apologies. More action, the better, right? But it's all going to depend if Ping Chang gets out here. See the way he walks around the table he tells us that he's in a high energy mode. He really wants that set. He really wants to tie it up. And it's already been a long match. Passes the ten, so he might. He might shoot the. You know what? The, the eight nine combination in the corner. Oh, he could do this. Wow! I love how he hit that. Yeah, I thought it was straight, and he hit a kind of a stun draw. Wow! With English, that was a really good shot there. Good stroke. Amazing. Yeah, such a pure stroke on that seven ball. Definitely a set winner. The tied at two. Deciding set coming. What a match we are having here in this quarterfinal. One interesting thing is that both players, they decide not to leave the arena, which the other sets they actually, here and there they did leave. So they are ready to take on the battle. They must both be feeling confident enough in their ability. This is a $11,000 set they're playing right here. So I don't think it can get any better. Okay, there we go, deciding set. Ping Chung starting the break and... Let's see. And on the Not other table, happy. we have our first semi-finalist, the name of Naoki Hoi. He defeated Bader Alada with three sets to one. Yeah, also a player that is definitely due for a huge win. He's been chasing all the tournaments, usually gets to the business end. Just never really happened for him. Who knows, maybe it happens tomorrow. So, first shot of this set is one ball going three rails forward. So, gonna try and get in between the 5 8. That was the speed. I think it's perfect. Yeah. S needs more though. What is he gonna do on this two ball to the three? Is he gonna draw back just a diamond and take more cut? Is he yeah. going to draw into the... He could play power draw and go all the way back to the short rail and out. Oh, wow. Oh, he, he stunned it. This is pure accuracy right there. 
Yeah, because it didn't have that much of an angle. found the window for that four ball and a nice bump on the five on the nine ball to get to the five doesn't need to get as straight as possible on this six ball so he might choose to run around the nine top left Gotta be careful for the scratch but enough left will make sure he doesn't scratch perfect cue ball control This is going to put some pressure on the young co-brother, or at least younger, he's the second of the three. Great run out from Diado, finishes the first rack. I think we've seen almost everything this match from big wins, winning a set 4-0, then the momentum going to the other side, 4-0. Then closer sets, 4-1, 4-3, back and forth, back and forth. And remember the one ball, he made three rails around to get the window on the two ball and then he forced the two ball. That was really a tough layout and a great rack from Biado in the opening of the last set. I mean, they've been playing for two hours and a half. You have to remember that also. Let's see if that wreck gave him a big confidence boost. Oh, lost the cue ball a bit on this break. Not going to be happy. If you look at the cue ball, was tracking towards the side. He really cut the other side of the one ball. Yeah. Expect Ping Chung to cut the one ball to the short rail and go two rails. Could go behind the four. He might also choose to run behind the A10. I do like that line, catching it a little thicker, two rails behind the A10. Get there. He did get it. Of course, there is a jump or a two rail escape. This one ball, two rails. The five ball will block the scratch. So difficult to yeah. scratch and can get the separation. Oh, he's caught it thin. But he hasn't left it, so. Buying time. Yeah, the eight ball is tied up with the ten, I guess. 
maybe the combination is on but still some work to do and he really doesn't have the one for the moment so is he gonna stick the cue ball behind the seven don't he didn't look too happy so either he's not too happy with the cover oh yeah he's he's left the jump and if carlo makes the jump there's a chance to get the two ball either in the side or the corner as well this comes with high reward oh just missed it quite a bit second prize for biado Really good speed there. Good job. Yeah, and also the main thing, Carlo can make the jump on the one. But he's never going to be able to run out after. So we'll have to play a safety on the two ball, which will be still a good opportunity behind the ten. First, let's see if he makes the one. Close. Does the cue ball go? Does he get cover? Yeah, I did apologize, knowing that he's quite fortunate. Is he gonna play the cue ball behind the five? I think it looks like it, and it's looking good. This is looking good. Yeah. I think he has it. It's so tough to see because from the top angle it looks like he just has it, but Okay, so he did not have it, and they're going back and forth. It's pretty yeah. great one ball. Yeah, because now it's tricky. You don't really see a good escape from here. You have the one rail just before the side pocket, but you only see. I don't. I don't think he sees all the one. Both sides. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Unbelievable shot from Wing Chung there. Look at that cue ball. I think he's buried Biado behind the A10. Look at this. Going one rail. Catch the right side of the one. Into the short rail and stick the cue ball right behind that the eight. Was Now there is a chance for Carlo maybe to go two rails into the one. Don't think he can play one rail, but he, well, he might play curve around the nine. Oh, he's he's it too. It. Yeah, that was a tough one. I think he uses the reverse a little bit. That's why you stiffed it so much. Yeah, well, most, most of the time players are looking for the tough way to miss the shot. So it would have been way too easy to run too long. He was really trying to... 
uh, he'd rather overdo it, increasing the chance to make a good hit, than take it the sloppy yep. way and possibly run out most of the time. Great shot there. He reset, he restart his routine, and made it clear. Yeah, everything is going to depend on this three to the four. There is a four-eight combination. If he can get straight, he's definitely going to like that. Could also Maybe follow the cue ball in between 9-4, but he's going to play the combo. Oh, where's the cue ball? Oh, that was close. I thought for a second he was going to get behind the 7. But looks to be great on the combination. 4-8 yeah. combination to open up the rack. Oops. Wow, he made both of them. The way he played it, I've never thought he, he could have made the two. Of course, he can still cut the five with left spin and go twice the short rail. He would have loved to have the four ball in front of the corner. Beautiful yeah. recovery here. Yeah, and like I mentioned, I think I mentioned it in the <laughs> second set or third set, I said, you know, I think this match really deserves also to go all the way because <laughs> from the beginning they've, yeah. been, they've been sharing the ranks, they've been playing a similar speed. They never both actually caught a gear for 30, 40 minutes. They just kept grinding, kept working both. I wouldn't be too surprised if this goes all the way. Yeah, you said it, I think it was in the third set, actually. So this 10 to level the score in this fifth set. Now playing long, more than two and a half hours. And still a big grind, good strategy, good kicking. These two guys, they, they're playing their hearts out for that spot in the semi-final. Albinushan and Fedor Worst are two sets apiece. They are walking to a decider also. Yeah, only two days left in this WPA Men's World Pembal Championship. Of course, this round and then tomorrow we will finish the tournament I mean, can you believe it they start cutting the break more and more not making a ball on the break and then also cover yeah he lost a little bit of the cubo there a little too high but I also believe that he's trying to put so much into the break that that's why he's starting to hit the cue ball a little bit different. 
Yeah, maybe more attention. So maybe push to a jump. Could go third diamond, long wheel, and push to the jump. Would be very aggressive. I'm not really sure if they would be wanting to play a push like that, especially on this score. A lot is at stake at this moment. But I believe also if you kick to the short rail, you might leave a great chance. If you go to the bottom, you're behind the four. I think this is his only way. It's either the jump or he could kick at this. Don't think he can hit it thick enough to go two rails behind the 10. It depends. If he has an edge, the left side of the one ball, he could go yeah. three rails behind the 10. There is no way Ping Chung would have taken this push out. Even if he sees the, the slice of the one. one ball side pocket. Oh, he called, what did he call? He called the five ball. Or well, the one ball does pass the five. Yeah, maybe. Maybe Whoa. the shot is over carrying it. Whoa! Yeah, I was, I was gonna say he's just playing a good cue ball. He's done a great job getting the cue ball all the way back down table. Yeah. He makes it look easy because he had to beat the kiss on the eight. Yeah, that was a great shot there. Now, <laughs> Ping Chung can make this one ball and take the cut on the two. I'm not sure, it looks like he can go jacked up and stop the cue ball. If he goes real first, the cue ball might move up to the eight, so you would not want that. He's going soft on this. Oh, he was still able to cheat the pocket just a bit to get a comfortable stroke out. What a chance what a for Ping Chung. How is the speed on the three? Is he great? It's perfect. Could not have gotten any better. On this three ball, and it's still really some work maybe from the yeah, seven to the eight. Yeah, right. But it's really impossible to guess who's gonna win this match. It goes back and forth. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah, I, I really do think in the last what is it nine days I've done commentary, I did not have a match go like this in a in a good way i'm not saying this in a bad way i'm more saying in a entertaining way where it's so tough to pick a winner they just keep sharing sets racks back and forth and a lot of safety play just because of the break i don't know why but making balls on the break and no no shots after Oh, he miscues on the draw. Wow. Oh, he is so not going to be happy. This could be extremely costly. That's the same thing. I'm, the, the same thing I mentioned in the first rack as well. Like if if this happens to you in the first set, like the, the second rack in the first set, you can go, okay, well, you know, I just hit, didn't hit it great. 
let's continue in the match and keep fighting. But now, after playing more than two and a half hours, you're getting towards the crunch time. This is the moment to perform. And then you miscue. That might hurt. Yeah. Seven to the eight to take the lead again. Piado. What a match! Back and forth drama. So it is Carlo Biado leading 2-1. Just unbelievable. What a mistake from Ping Chung on that five ball. Yeah, sometimes it's muscle tension, you know. You accelerate too much, you just go too fast on the last backswing and then the mystery is coming you know? that happens so if you look at the break 75% against 58% Ping Chong been breaking better overall in the match the run out percentage on both sides quite equal 40% we move to the center yeah, very interesting, and it's he barely did something. Like it's it's not like he put something into the break. Like it, it was a very dull break. Just look at stopped right there. Like it was more a technique break than like huge yeah. power. At least he tried something oh. to. Me change yeah yeah that I was just gonna say I'm happy that during the match both players have been trying to make something happen and maybe Carlo also said hey you know if I make a ball from the center look at this layout it is going to be open yeah you push to a jump and didn't he jump a little bit closer to the nine? Oh, he must yeah, the like it this way. If he makes it, then he will he'll lose the cue ball at table. He'll not be able to get a shape on the, on the two. Well, and also, if you look at... If he had made it, the cue ball was not going to track this line. So by yeah. overcutting, the cue ball was going to be in a perfect line. So probably Carlo looked at it and said, even if I make it, the chances of finding that same window because the cue ball is going to track a different line yeah yeah you might not get there of course he hasn't left an open shot but definitely a good chance for Carlo to go three rails possibly four rails behind the ten I think it's there you always have the six four and the two in between it the other way around. It's 
bumped the nine and has left a chance on this one ball. Yeah. The window. Still a long, tough shot to get to the two. Make the one and get to the two is not a gimme. Especially at that moment of the match. You have to show heart. Well, it is also... It's not like you can stun the ball in or something. Like you gotta either go around the seven or you gotta yeah. play with top and right spin to maneuver after the short rail into the long rail. Side pocket came into play and the eight saved him. Has the eight tied up the five? I think it has. Yeah. This is unbelievable. It looks like. This is what I mean. Actually, it came up with a big shot. You think he would get a little bit lucky after bumping into the eight. Look at the shape on the two. And then the eight goes together with the five. <laughs> and yeah. It kind of has been like this the whole match. Ups and downs in the same shot. Did he go far enough on this three ball? He might yeah, be very think comfortable, he... but... try to take his time because the five ball is really in a tough position locked isolated locked with the eight ball up table oh look okay. at the cue ball no that's okay oh. that was for a second that was really close it's also that it just doesn't really give much value. This is there was a similar shot for Ping Chung earlier, the last set, where he was trying to run out with two clusters on the table, and I felt it didn't really make any sense going in attacking mode. Yeah. And I do kind of feel the same here. Like, okay, now if he makes a four ten combo and he gets shape on the four. He still has to make an unbelievable shot to make the 5-8, to open it up. And even though, on the other side, Carlo is sitting in his chair, waiting for Ping Chung to open it up for him. He's going to blue behind the 10, no? Oh, behind the 6. Yeah, now Carlo is going to roll up on the nine ball, I believe. Maybe you could try to send the, the cue ball towards the third diamond on the long rail. Going long, short, behind the 5-8. Yeah, I was just wondering, was he also trying to make the four and maybe get the five in the same corner? That have, that would have been insane if that happened. But still, yeah, this that safety is tough. Oh, we have another jump kick. Yeah. Let's see if Chung can do it better than Biado. Oh, a little bit too much draw. And mainly because of the shot clock. The timer started ringing and had to run for the jump. Yeah, too much. Too much draw. But still, 
Hello, it's an opportunity to go. To go there. <coughs> and try to open up the 5-8. Always oh, gonna draw. He's going to three rails into the eight. Yeah. Wow, just two. <laughs> wow, what an opening shot there from the auto. Wow. Two rails, knowing at this speed that the five was most of the time going to open up in a nice position. And he's got... Great shot. He's got a super chance here now. To get on the hill first, last time I'm gonna mention the hill, possibly for Piado. What a match we've had, and we've also had so many great strategy shots. Great kicking, great safeties, opening clusters. I think we've seen it all. The only thing we might not have seen is a break and run, just because of no shape after the break. And we have our second semi finalist. Dennis Gray beat Francisco Sanchez Ruiz three sets to one. Wow, that's a big win for Dennis. Yeah. Yeah, he's a tough customer. You know, he's also a player that has won titles, does put the time in the travel everywhere, all the events. Who knows, maybe this could be his year. Yeah. Three to one. Piado. He is on the double hill. Just one wreck away from that semi-final. It's a long way for Ping Chung from here. final break because he managed to make a ball on the break and even more important a shot after it has made the three ball and <laughs> again and still no shot yeah and tough layout also but those are also the situation those are the situations where you actually don't want that three ball to go. You're like, please let, let the other guy go. <laughs> yeah. I think he could kick two rails to the bottom long rail next to the 10. And then shoot the one into the eight with a lot of right spin and go three rails behind the four five again. That would yeah. probably be my own. <laughs> I gotta say, I don't see Go give this back, but on the other side, he has to load the cube up with spin. 
and if it's a thin contact on the one ball, uh, should be fine. Yeah, the thing is the eight ball is a big ball here, and maybe that's why he, he gave it back to Carlo, because you can avoid the kiss, but still to go up table with the cue ball in this position is really, really tricky, really touchy. Yeah, you avoid the kiss. He played a good shot there. Yeah, he wasn't expecting the eight to come back out and bump the one ball over as well. Imagine if the one ball stayed, he would have had four balls right in between. But still, the, it really worked out and he's played a good cue ball, I completely agree. There. Now then, can Carlo capitalize on this? Of course, it's still some work to do with the 4-5, but the two ball is next to it. So if he can play low right, twice the long rail back out to the center of the table, could choose to run into the 5 or could choose to play a 4-10 combination. Oh, he's understruck that ball and got a little bit in no man's land. Yeah, looks like he's gonna have to play safe on the four ball if he decide to to make the two ball on the bottom left. Yeah, just thinking, can he make the two run into the eight? Possibly bank the four ball. Yeah, that's the point. With safety, with, with safety in mind behind the five, but I'm not sure if he catches the eight. If he doesn't catch the eight, then it makes no sense. Can he play for a four bank shot into the ten ball? Oh, wow. he did go one rail in between. Look at this. And I think he's got it. Wow. What a cue ball control. I think he's on the four. Might be a tough cut, but he'll be happy, yeah. I believe, from here. Yeah, sure. Definitely. You can choose to run. You can choose to run into the five ball, take a little bit more risk. Yeah, try to open it up, make sure he makes the four. Or he goes back where he is now, two rails. Is it too firm? No, I think he's got perfect on the five ball. He has opened up the rack. This is a chance for a spot in the semi-final for Carlo Biado. Does have plenty of options as well with the eight. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, like this. On the rail. Still okay though, but he would have liked to be closer to the seven. Well, he could choose to cut the eight into the ten. Doesn't have to go to this side of the eight, but he chose showing that. He's not feeling the pressure that much at this moment. Of course, there's always pressure, but you know, as long as 
your opponent cannot feel it in you, the hope will be low. Yeah, he's perfect on the nine ball. What a match we just have had the last couple hours. What a match. Unbelievable. I think we've seen everything now, Ben. We can retire. <laughs> yeah, that was really back and forth. A great match there. So, it is Paulo Diado scraping through this match. Set score. What a match we just had. This was Benjamin yeah. Belhassen and myself, Tim De Reuter. Our next match is going to be in around an hour. We do have the final of the women's showdown. So make sure you tune in and hopefully see you there. Thank you. Bye.